Look how far. Look how far. You may now begin your presentation. Look how far we've traveled since our ancestors took the first steps in this difficult journey. Humanity is descendant of nature. We are the seeds of Earth. We show the potential and promise of species that can move beyond the third dimension. They say humanity's destiny is to leave Earth, saving nature's lineage. The Earth is not the most important thing in our existence, or is it? With us, the next chapter of our story is still to be written. Tunisia! A country between two worlds. From north to south, from the sparkling Mediterranean Sea to the golden Sahara Desert. Its strategic geographical position makes it a regional hub. Only 50 minutes of flight separates us from Europe and its central position in North Africa makes it a gate to the continent. Ancient Tunisia was a major civilization crossing through history. From the 6,000 years old Capsian culture to the Carthaginian Empire, passing by the Roman era, each grain of its fertile soil keeps the imprint of these successive civilizations. Its diversity, its richness, they are reflected in Tunisia's agricultural heritage, making it the leading economic sector of the country. Nowadays, after being the granary of Rome for centuries, it is heading to be the land of successive shortages. From the green land of the Arab world to the top 30 countries suffering from water scarcity with a major land desertification of up to 75% of the area. These last years were dramatic. No land, no water, no harvesters. And the worst is yet to come with 90,000 engineers leaving the country. The new generations of farmers are abandoning their parents' fields. They stopped investing their time, resources and energy. Some of them chose to leave their regions to bigger cities. Some others gave up their homelands, crossing seas with death swirling around them. <laughs> باهي الحق من نخلو فيها باهي ما البقرة اللي يعطيك حليب ويعطي وما يضعفش يا أخي كي لقينا المعمل القريب اللي هناك في الوسط بعدين كنا نستعملوا فيها حتى لو كي جبت الطبيب قال شبيه مبطلت له عالفة قلنا له لا مبطلناش عالفة قال لا علاش بقرتها قال له صالح راني وليت ما بدلت العالفة ناخو من جب الوسط قال له لا معمل العالفة ما يشبيه طيحة البقر يعني from year to year, the struggle of cattle breeders is real. Their production costs soared, pushing them to the verge of bankruptcy. The cattle feed available on the market contains imported ingredients, such as corn and soya. Their importation is very costly. In fact, their prices have gone up by 60% during this year, side to side with their shortage. This had a significant impact on the local cattle feed prices, which were tripled in a single year by the authorities to cover the importation costs. All that made creating agriculture added value in our country a thousand times harder. In this chaotic world and tough conditions, a young woman named Tiwar, led by a strong will, decided to go against the flow and came up with hope and solutions. Together, we perceive this as an opportunity, uniting entrepreneurship, science, innovation, and technology. We fulfill this vision by creating and launching our project, EPACT. And as a ready to launch rocket, we were thrilled to start taking action. And that is when the countdown started. So, fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. You're about to go on a ride to EPACT's planet, where every farmer is satisfied. EPACT provides farmers with cattle feeds made with 100% local ingredients, such as beans, 
Bali and wheat bran acquired from different Tunisian regions based on its specialization, quality production and their availability throughout the seasons. The comparative advantage of our feed is the use of agro-industrial byproducts such as distilled rosemary leaves, molasses and canola meal, as well as recycling the agri-food industry's leftovers like date waste, tomato pulp and sesame waste. Our project offers a wide range of 14 different formulas. Since one of our goals was to avoid disturbing the diet of the cattle, we chose to partially substitute corn and soya in some formulas. This solution allowed the cattle to progressively adapt to the formulas made with total substitution of these two components. The benefits of our product are that it supplies the demands of the breeder, and covers the needs of the cattle. Increases the amount of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids in the muscle. Serves cattle fattening and gestation needs. Along with expanding the meat's conservation period by 21 days. A pact presents a convenient solution for cattle breeders since it offers a 35% cheaper price than the competitors. We fought tooth and nail for over 500 days on this project, turning visions into actions. We strive to validate our product along with the National Institute of Agronomic Research. With our product being tested and certified, we successfully launched our activity and subcontracted with an outsourcer. We invested $10,000 that we already won from competitions and product sales in obtaining necessary machines. We upscaled our initiatives, strength our business by officially launching our own production unit in a town with nearly 4,100 farmers in the area where a single cattle breeder needs 30 tons of feed per month. That's why we are producing 4,000 feet per day and then selling our product from our unit as well as supplying points of sales all over Tunisia. And because we do believe that every successful business has always more room to grow, we dug deeper into our target issues as their biggest problem is finding a transporter to deliver the cattle feed. That's why we worked on outsourcing with a specialized delivery company that covers all the Tunisian territory. We didn't stop there. We proudly launched the first platform of cattle feed in our country, a platform dedicated to all generations of farmers by providing them with forums and consultations from experts in order to improve breeding, productivity, as well as livestock traceability. Another feature is directed to agriculturists who are also cattle breeders. By accessing a list of components, they could exchange what they are producing with a specific quantity of EPACT feed. Its main goal aims to inspire young farmers to exploit their fields by cultivating the ingredients used in our formulas. As a result, we're establishing a network of additional suppliers and potential buyers, leading to a win-win situation for both sides. يعني معاونتني برشا اول حاجه في الصوم ناقصه على الاخرى بعد مش ناقص 50 كيلو مثلا ناخذ 100 كيلو وثاني حاجه تتماشى مع الحيوانات الكل كيه في المجمل نصرف برشا 30 كيلو 35 كيلو في النهار مع بين الصباح وبين العشاء We, in Actis Tunisia, worked hard believing that this project will make the agricultural field retrieve its natural position and will contribute in improving our economic growth. And the results were outstanding. We are improving the quality of the concentrated feed compared to the competition by increasing the amounts of proteins and vitamins in our formulas. We have generated a total revenue of 88 thousand dollars and a net income of twenty five thousand dollars by the end of this year we will be generating a total revenue of one hundred sixty eight thousand dollars we are directly impacting 40 farmers by reducing their risks of bankruptcy as well as the lives of 160 family members and indirectly impacting over 13,000 Tunisian citizens we are providing the market with a 35% cheaper cattle feed than the competitors, as well as reducing insufficiency and shortages on breeders. We are contributing in minimizing the country's importation fees 
of corn and soya. That's about $160 million. We are reducing and recycling the agro-food waste and thus ensuring a circular economy as well as a zero waste project. We are preserving the planet from 530 tons of CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. We enact a synergy team one stop here. We'll be uh, expanding our target to Algeria, a neighboring country, where we are going to launch our own product production unit there by the end of this year. In two years, with two units, we will be generating a total revenue of $1.5 million by selling about 10 tons of cattle feed per day. In five years, these figures will be multiplied, reaching 16 tons of production, generating $5 million. We'll be contributing in decreasing the prices of meat and milk and make them affordable for every Tunisian citizen. We are going to expand our target market to poultry breeders by developing 100% local formulas. We will be impacting the lives of more than 300,000 needy families. This year, we in Actis Tunisia made a vision come true. E for efficient. B for promising. A for affordable. C for convenient. And T for trustful. That's, That's what the pact achieves. 15,000 kilometers were wandered, showing that no place is far enough to break our devotion. Seven global goals were achieved, improving lives. 21,000 hours of volunteering. 70 enactors were dedicated granting our people a high way to success. Devoted to community. Devoted to environment. Devoted to humanity. Devoted to the world. One, one goal, goal, one purpose. purpose. I am Muhammad Ali. I am Shaima. I am Asma. I am Gaza. We are Enactus Tunisia. We are Enactus. Thank you to the team from Tunisia. Judges, you may now begin the five-minute question and answer period. The Tunisia, an impressive presentation. Thank you very much. Two questions. Is your formula protected? Is it patented? And a question about scaling up and the necessary investments to get your goals in five years. Can you explain me? Thank you for your question. I just wanted to make sure the first question is if our formulas are authentic. Is that right? Patented. What? Patented. Ah, yes, of course. Our 14 different formulas are patented and they are innovative, certified internationally and where we've done tests in our laboratory tests and got the international certification from uh, the leader of analysis, inception and, uh, and certification, SGS, which will allow us to um, export our product um, to every, every place in the world. And for the second question, if what investments do we need to generate the five, uh, the, um, the numbers yeah, after five years, that, that's right? Yeah. Okay, so we just need to keep producing four tons of feed um, per year, uh, per day for two years, and then we will be um, producing six tons, no, not six tons, eight tons of feed per, uh, per day from our unit in Tunisia and our unit in Algeria. That's it. Thank you very much. Um, another question. How long is your project already existing and what did you achieve in the last 12 months? Okay, thank you for your question. Our pro project started producing our feed for five months now. So we have generated the, uh, the total revenues of $88,000 in the past eight months. Uh, first, by outsourcing, because we didn't have the machines at first place. And then after winning um, some, some competitions and uh, after product sales from the outsourcement, we've gained the money we needed to launch our own production units. Hello, congratulations on your presentation. Uh, you mentioned in your presentation the fact that agriculture, land, water is pressed in Tunisia. How does that place into you making sure that you have all the agricultural byproducts that you need for scaling? 
Thank you for your question. I just want to make sure if uh, the problem with water scarcity, how it's going to affect uh, the ingredients, the raw materials? Well, the problem why? with farming in general in Tunisia, less farmers, less production of farming, okay. and you need those local sources for your formula. How would that play into you growing and scaling? Mm -hmm. Thank you for your question. In fact, we are dealing with 400 um, farmers who are producing our own raw materials that uh, we are using for our formulas. So um, thanks to our project, they have a client so that will be sure will buy their own uh, ingredients. And it's uh, all over the country. The 400 farmers that we are dealing with, our suppliers, are all over the country. Um, and also we, are, um, we have another feature in our platform where we could exchange um, our feed with raw materials. So we are encouraging farmers to produce the raw materials, give us the raw materials, and then we will trade them with our own feed. Thank you. Impressive presentation. In the last 12 months, what was your major challenge? Excuse me, your main what? Challenge. Okay, thank you. Our major challenge was, in fact, um, launching our own production unit at first. Uh, so that's why we, we've gone to the outsourcing uh, with, a, with another unit. And then after um, uh, collecting the money we needed, we launched our own production unit. We've already had a lot of farmers who need to um, sell their own uh, raw materials that we are using. And uh, that's it. Great presentation. How do you ensure quality control across such a broad and diverse network of farmers, suppliers, etc.? Okay, thank you. In fact, we have two engineers in our production unit who's working for two months on analyzing, analysis of the formulas of our product. And we are also partner, partnering with veterinarians who are controlling the quality of meat and milk uh, from the cattle uh, that are using our own feed. So um, this is how we are uh, controlling the quality of the feed and also the quality of uh, the meat. The question and answer time has expired. Judges, please join me in thanking the team from Tunisia. We will now begin a five-minute scoring period for our judges.